So we've looked at ways to add individual users as well as computer accounts, and we've looked at ways to configure those user accounts. But what if you just merge with another company and we want to import all those employees into your Active Directory environment? Now, if you get paid by the hour, you may want to sit there with a cold bevy and enter them through the ADUC. But if you don't get paid by the hour and you have other things you want to do, you're going to want to complete that import by performing a bulk operation into AD. And that's what we're going to talk about in this sub lesson is how to perform that bulk AD operation. But before we can perform that operation, we need to create the file. We need to create a CSV file. We can do this in Excel. So the very first row in Excel will have the column headers. And then the following rows will have the values for those column headers. And as you can see here, we have the create CSV file formatted. We're going to populate full name and department. And they're separated by a comma in our CSV file. And row number two is Thelma Alderman. And she's in HR. She's my mom. So she belongs in HR. And then my brother, Roland Alderman bless his soul, he is in marketing. Just imagine there's hundreds of these rows that we want to import using this format here. And we can do so by creating a PowerShell script and using the import-csv commandlet. And that's what we have here as an example of that commandlet. To add the new users, we're going to create a variable in PowerShell and we're going to use the import-csv and then we have to identify the location of the file that contains those users. Step two is to run this for each loop, which means run through this file until all users have been added. And we're going to use the new dash ad user PowerShell commandlet. And then we're going to identify the dollar user dot full name, which is the column header number one. It's going to prompt me for a password, as you can see here. And then we're going to also populate department from that CSV file. So that's the steps we're going to use to perform that bulk import. So now we know how to bulk import users. What if we want to modify our AD objects using PowerShell? You've seen most of these, if not all of these PowerShell commandlets. We've got the set dash AD user, set dash AD computer, set dash AD group, and set dash AD organizational unit. And I still don't know why they don't just call that OU. So let's use a PowerShell command that contains two commandlets and we're going to pipe information. So the first part of this command is to get dash ad user dash filter on company dash like Pearson. So it's going to go through the Active Directory users computers, find all the users that have the word Pearson in the company name, and then we're going to use the pipe option, and then we're going to set the ad user dash company to MTP. So if they worked for Pearson before, they're all going to work for me at MTP now. Another example, what if we want to disable all of the users in the IT department? We'll again use piping and PowerShell. We'll begin with the get dash AD user dash filter department like IT. And then we're going to pipe and we're going to say disable dash AD account. So as you can see, we're retrieving the users using the get command. And then we're modifying the users using the set dash AD user commandlet or using that disable dash AD account commandlet. So that's how we'll add users in bulk and how we can modify the different AD objects using PowerShell. Let's step out to our image and apply these new concepts. As you can see, we're back on our number one domain controller. I am going to actually first show you the CSV file. So let me go into the computer location, into the C drive, and here's my new users. And you'll see what I've done here. And I actually created this in Excel spreadsheet and then exported it out to a CSV file versus an XLS file. And you'll see the first row has the two column headers, the full name and then the department. Then you'll see Thalma's name and she's in HR, and then you'll see Roland's name, and he's in marketing. So that's the file that I created inside of Excel and exported it out to a CSV file, and that's the file we'll be using in this demo here. So let me go ahead and close that and close this out of the way, and then let's go into PowerShell, and in PowerShell, we're going to run those two separate commands. The first is going to create the variable. I'm going to do some cutting and pasting here. There's no way I'm going to bore you with trying to watch me fat finger items. So I'm just going to right click in that command. You would see we created a variable called users using the import dash CSV. Here's the literal path name. And this is where the new users dash CSV file was located that we just peeked at. Now we're going to cut and paste that other command in. And notice what we're doing here. We have the open bracket. We have new dash 80 user, the dollar user, which means those items which are in the CSV file dot full name dash account password read host means prompt me for the password and that's what they've done right here is they prompted me for the password so i'll enter the password for thalma and then it's going to populate her department and then it'll do the same for roland so let me go ahead and put the password in here and here's the second password and we'll hit enter and now we've added those two accounts and let's just make sure they're actually in there so i'm going to go to tools and aduc and then we'll scroll down 
and you'll see that we have Roland here and we have Thalma there. So we've added those two users, imagine it being 100, not just two, using import-csv via PowerShell.